हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इस लेक्चर में हम देखने वाले हैं कि व्हाट इज ए सबग्राफ देन इंड्यूस द सबग्राफ एंड फाइनली वी विल सी अबाउट स्टैरिंग सबग्राफ सबग्राफ क्या होता है ये पहले हम देखते हैं ए सबग्राफ ऑफ जी इज ए ग्राफ एच सच दैट देयर आर सम कंडीशंस द वर्टेक्स ऑफ एच एच क्या है हमारा एक सबग्राफ है किसका जी का वर्टेक्स ऑफ एच क्या होने चाहिए सबसेट ऑफ वर्टेक्स ऑफ जी मतलब जो भी वर्टेक्स एच ग्राफ में होंगे वो सारे वर्टेक्स कहा से बिलोंग करने चाहिए ओरिजिनल ग्राफ दैट इज ग्राफ जी से एंड एजेस ऑफ एच आल्सो सबसेट ऑफ एजेस ऑफ जी मतलब जो एजेस प्रेजेंट रहेंगे सब ग्राफ में वो कहा से बिलोंग करने चाहिए ओरिजिनल ग्राफ से एंड द फाइनली The assignment of end points to edges in H is same as in G. मतलब देखो यहाँ पे अगर हम देख सकते हैं तो A to B edge है तो यहाँ पे A to B ही edge होनी चाहिए जैसे कि A to D original graph में edge नहीं है तो sub graph में भी ये edge allowed नहीं है मतलब यहाँ पे जो end point है G में उसके बीच में edge है तो ये edge में भी उन्हीं edge point वो end points में edge होनी चाहिए ओके, सो अगर ये ओरिजिनल ग्राफ जी है तो आई कैन से दैट दिस ए बी इज ऑल्सो ए सब ग्राफ और आई कैन से दैट दिस ए बी एंड ई इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ए सब ग्राफ बट इफ आई विल राइट लाइक दिस ए बी इज देयर दिस दिस इज वन ऑफ द एज एंड इफ आई विल एड ए टू सी एज then this graph is not called as a subgraph of g why because in original graph we see that a to c there is no edge but in this graph we are drawing the edge between a to c so this is not a subgraph so finally we can say that suppose this this is the graph g and subgraph of h uh, subgraph h is called why because a to b here edge is present in this graph also a to b edge is there again a to e edge is there so here also a to e edge is there and b to c there is an edge in original graph so in sub graph also b to c is there for this graph we can also draw like this suppose a b again Suppose uh, I will write like this: A E and B C. This is same as this one. Okay, so we can write like this also. There is a no issue. Only the edges in this graph should be present in the subgraph. Okay, so this is all about the subgraph. Let's see about the induced subgraph and sub spanning subgraph. What is the difference between? Uh, only subgraph and induced subgraph a induced subgraph which has all the edges corresponding to the those set of vertices is called as induced subgraph matlab isne kya likha hai isne all the edges should be there corresponding to the those vertices which we have included in induced subgraph suppose now here i can see that a b c I have taken so this is the original graph and here this is the induced graph suppose one I one. So this me dekho A B C A B and C ये तीन vertices लिए हैं तो अगर मैं यहाँ पे देख पा रहा हूँ A B C ये end points होने वाले सारे edges इसमें cover हैं मतलब ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि हाँ C to A edge थी इसमें लेकिन इसमें cover नहीं हुई okay one more example we will see that suppose a to c edge is there here b is also there and here e and i have added c to e edge okay so i have taken from this graph like this okay Okay. But this is not a induced subgraph. 
Why? Because all the edges corresponding to those set of vertices is not included. Here, set of vertices are A, B, C, E. So, A, B, C, E ke beech mein, sare edges jo bhi present hai original graph mein, wo include huye hai ya nahi, ye check karna hai. Dekho, A to C edge tha, A to C mein include kar diya. A to B edge tha, A to B include kar diya. B to E, it is included. C to E, it is included. So this is a subgraph, only subgraph, but it is not a induced subgraph. Why? Because C to B edge is present between these pair of vertices and which is not added in this graph. So if I will add C to B edge, then it is a induced subgraph. Okay, I hope you have understood about this now. Suppose I will take like this. C, B, E, D, C, C, B, E, and D. Here also, this is not an induced subgraph because C to E, E, H is present. So, if I will add C to E, E, H, then only I will call it as a induced subgraph. Otherwise, it is a only subgraph. Okay. So, finally, we will see about the spanning subgraph. So, what is spanning subgraph? Same vertex set as the original subgraph, sorry, original graph. Matlab, agar, suppose ye hum graph consider karte hai G, to spanning subgraph kya kaita hai ki sare vertex cover hune chahiye. Ages ke liye kuch likhaye ga usne? Nahi. To sare vertex agar cover hunge, then only we will call it as a spanning subgraph. Jaysa ki A, B and C, agar mein bas itna likhta hun, तो ये चलेगा क्या नहीं चलेगा क्यों क्योंकि इसमें सारे वर्टेक्स कवर नहीं हुए हैं डी और ए वर्टेक्स कवर नहीं हुए हैं लेकिन इफ आई विल राइट लाइक दिस ए बी सी देन डी देन ई सो दिस इज ए स्पैनिंग सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज़ ऑल द वर्टाइसेस आर कवर्ड वी आर नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट द एजेस Okay, so these are the terminologies of subgraph. I hope you have understood it. Please, uh, this video ko like karna, subscribe karna. Or kuch agar aapko doubts hoke, to please comment section mein puch lena ki kya doubt hai aapka. I definitely I will answer for that question. Okay, so we will see in next lecture. Okay, so this is spanning subgraph. Thank you so much.